All right, guys, so Apple just finished up with their keynote, and this is the demo for iOS 11. The beta is not out yet for us to try, so as soon as I can get my hands on, I will do another video on it. But overall, this is kind of just an overview of how it looks and what they kind of showed. So iOS 11, the control center has changed. It looks like they went more with a widget-based um, or tile based design so you can see how the volume the brightness has changed as well for the selections I think they're engaging more 3d touch and more animations within the control center now I do like this look um, I do like that they brought a change in now it did leave with maybe some other things that we wanted I would like to see where you can do 3d touch for Wi-Fi selection um, and once we get our hands on, maybe there there's going to be a little bit more options to it. But they didn't mention anything in the keynote. Now, they did also talk about how they're integrating 3D Touch a little bit more within to the control center. But to what extent? I just have to get my hands on it first before we can actually see further. Um, so let's check and see what else they did. They designed the notification center. Um, so that's a plus. I think there's iOS 11 and iOS 10 have a lot of similarities, but it's good to see that they're changing things for the better. Now that you can just do something like slide up to get your notifications and on the lock screen and you still can go to the left side and still get your widgets. That's pretty cool. Now they did also change camera. They added a lot of features to the camera, which I don't know necessarily that we that it's a big update and or couldn't have been done in small integrations within iOS 10. Um, so I do like the new live picture where you can edit a little bit more. You can create it out of uh, certain key photos. So this is the live photo right here. This was actually pretty cool where um, they can overall just make it repeat. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think we're going to see many online iterations where people are using it uh, to post towards Reddit, ImageGur, and, um, and uh, other sites that we all visit, iFunny and so on. Even something like this. I think we're going to see that on a lot of social media sites. And if you can, you can still follow exactly what's going on within the keynote. Um, so they're talking about capturing specific motions um, and uh, for long exposure on your high end camera. So they're going to most likely incorporate some of these things towards the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus for, because it's got a better camera to get the best out of it. So most of this is shot with an iPhone 7, 7 Plus. Now, some of these key features, you can kind of foresee what they're mentioning and what the next plan is with the next operating system. I mean, the next iPhone overall, um, how they're planning it out. Now, one thing I don't like is the memories part that's just me but overall sometimes there are certain things in your pictures that you just take pictures of and they're not necessarily memories but they pop up in your memories screen anyway so um, we can definitely see that over the years Apple has focused on um, perfecting iOS photos application and with iOS 11 we can see that they're taking the next step further um, even with the shot on iPhone something that they have their campaign that they were really working hard with you can see that they're going to keep improving the photos app and the camera app now again there's things that are missing that uh, at this point they haven't really talked about but it would be nice once we get the update we can uh, test it out if they made changes to the camera app where how we take those pictures if we have uh, more options within the uh, camera app itself now they're talking about Siri and Siri recommendations. Um, 
something that again that they've been working on because Siri compared to some of the other assistants has been a little bit behind in certain cases um, I do like that they've integrated a better voice for Siri for female and male and does seem more natural um, and I believe she is definitely learning more and more so we'll see to what extent um, you know how she performs overall I don't my on my devices haven't used Siri that frequently but I want to test this one out just to see if there are any improvements from the previous ones all right and they did improve the messages app again so the one of the big things that again that they want to talk about is Apple Pay um, and they're pushing Apple payments at the Apple store they're also pushing it out to other retailers and online but now it's nice because you can also send it to your friends so you can actually send money to your friend and it'll stay from my understanding it's going to stay on a, on the Apple device on a card that can be used for purchases but it can also be uh, de deposited into your bank account so sending money that's definitely a benefit and it's encrypted by a fingerprint so it's actually a nice feature so this is a quick demo of something that they showed and I'll uh, have more clips of other things and we'll go over them a little bit in detail